Episode 9, The Evil That Stomped Quickville. Sarama hands me back my uh, Chirakian crown. Here, Chris, I think this belongs to you. Thank you. Who are you? My hedgehog name is Sarama. Excuse me. Walter Grisby. Mm? He, she, she approaches him while he's still pinned to a tree. And he's alive. I had given you my heart and soul, and you dare harm my best friend? I can't believe you would do such a thing like that. But you did. I should have never hooked up with you. Hooked up? Walter thinks, realizes. Nicole, is that you? <gasps> Nicole? And she grabs, and then she grabs the arrow, wedges into his chest, into his chest, and just she shouts out to him, "Yes, Walt, and I say that we are through. I do not love you anymore." Then she drags, then she pulls the arrow out, and then he screams out his pain. No! He falls to the ground, lands on his butt. He's like, "Ow, oh, damn! I hurt three places." I should leave you. I should leave you about that tree. But the three of us are destined to destroy the evil that's mean that is lurking somewhere, as Sarama says. And, and, I'm th and I realize, and in response, I say, "Oh yeah, the prophesies evil. I wonder where it'll strike." And Sanchu approaches me with the news. Papa, yes, Sanchu. I just got a call from Rosie. There's a rock monster destroying Quickville. This must be the evil. Sanchu, go on ahead. We'll catch up. Okay, he dashes away. And I tell, and I tell Nicole, Nicole, there is a rock monster destroying the city of Quickville. It may be the evil. Then we have no choice. We have to go destroy it. Chris, stand there next to Walter. And then, she's, and then she launches two arrows simultaneously at us. But instead of hitting us in the chest, they uh, open up to, to make up these electrical spheres around that surround me and, Wal me and Walter. And uh, also one around herself that she created herself, and she's like, "Let's fly!" And now we're lev levitating about like half a, 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 a half a mile off the ground. And then Sarama says, "Chris, which way? Quickville?" And I said, "Oh, right, Nicole, right, Nicole. About 25 miles due north, that away." All right. And then Walt's just thinking, "Whoa, this is the best levitation trick ever!" Because in real life, he was a magician. And then the three of us go dashing off towards at neck breaking speed, and Walter is surprised. Wow! But a few a um, few moments ago, the city of Quickville, a vibrant community with happy people, cool chicks, business, and a frustrated male virgin. <sighs> what what's going on? Oh no! It's a giant golem monster, and that witch. The wheel Ryan. <laughs> I can shatter many hearts with this golem, and we'll take over the. And yes, says Count Graduan in her wand, we will take over the world. You bet, ancient spirit. And then Count Graduan continues to say, the Cherokee and the Wasabi clans may have put me away for centuries, but I will rule the world. And then going back up to a few minutes later, which is where we come in, the golem monster is destroying the city. And then Sarama says, Oh no, that thing is huge. We gotta take it down. Chris, you know this world that we're in. Do you know this world? Any ideas? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Nicole, shoot some arrows into its eyes. With fi Wes, fire up its knees. Those things always have weak knees. I'll go for the heart. For its heart's... I'll go for its heart spot. You know where it would be. Okay. Let's... Wait... And and then Walter and us. Oh, my heart was broken. I don't know what's going on. What's the point? He's depressed. And I said, "Hey, buck up! My heart was previously shattered. Now I'm not complaining. If we have to destroy the monster before the before it destroys the city. Let's move." Then, meanwhile, just outside the city, the Quickville shop it said, "Rose shoes stand by. Rose shoes stand by, waiting for Science Shoe." And everybody saying, and she's thinking, "Science Shoe, Father." If you are involved in finding that monster, please be careful. So Sarama is shooting lightning arrows into its eyes. I shoot a hyper beam to its heart spot, and then and then Walter is is firing up its it's firing up its knees, and then it's, and then suddenly and then after a few attacks, it's stop it stops attacking and then it starts to topple over, but it's still standing. So then I'm like, let's finish this. Team blast, foo blue fireball attack. The three of us get into. Spheres and we dish dash dish 
whack that thing in three places, and it falls down and goes boom. No! Says Slowly O'Brien. And then the, and then Count Graduan says, You three may have thwarted our plans, but we will meet again, for I am Count Graduan. <gasps> that orb is talking, I'm thinking. The evil we were supposed to beat, we were supposed to destroy is him, and still we Ryan has his cage? The evil was Count Graduan, not that golem. That golem was just a pawn of the evil. Until another day, hedgehogs! <laughs> and then Slow Wheel flies away. And I'm saying, uh, Dolly is chasing them now. We will meet again. Then Sachi and Rose Chu come up and give us an update. But it's like, you know, they just got here. Father, I got here as fast as I could, but it looks like I'm late. Don't tell them. Don't worry about it. We, we three saved the day, and then we all transform back, and it's Nicole saying, So, Chris, how do we get back to Ruckersville from here? And then I say, Well, there's a war portal in my Merrill office at the Quickfield Mall. I'll get us a cab. And while, poor Walter, he's just turned his back on us, and he's jealous and everything. So anyway, we get a cab. Beep, beep! We head back over to Quickfield Shop and Sarah. We teleport back to Ruckersville from Quickfield, Virginia. It's a quick teleport. Then later on, Nicole and I are just uh, talking, just catching up on things. I'm like, are you okay, Nicole? Yeah, I'm fine. I just feel concerned since you broke up with Walter. Oh, don't worry about it. We've had previous disputes. And besides, he did lack something. I see. So, do you have someone else in mind, or are you going to take it easy for a while? Well, I did have someone else in mind. He's big, strong, and handsome. Ah. Uh, I start to feel a little uncomfortable. And I'm like, do, do, do. And I buy a bucket up, I suck it in and I say, uh, really, does he have a name? Yes, his name is William. Hmm. Well, as long as he makes you feel happy, if he ever lets you down and out, just come to me and you may cry on my shoulders as much as you need. And he said, thank you, I appreciate your concern. Hey, listen, don't be a stranger. Be sure to stop by for a visit whenever you're in the neighborhood. It's always great to have you around, my old best friend. Dun dun dun. End of the episode for now.